Now, the government says it has shut down 49 illegally operating gas filling plants out of 138 that are licensed. While appearing before the Energy Parliamentary Committee, Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Churchill also pledged to address the compensation concerns of the victims affected by the Embakasi gas explosion. The Senate Energy Committee investigating the incident urged the CS to expedite the process of compensation. The PS has expressed his message of condolences to the families. Uh, Bonaziri, what have you done for the human face? The last day when we were here, the member of parliament from Embakasi, who apparently is not here today, is in a neighboring country, expressed the frustration that the victims are facing. What have you done as a cabinet secretary? And of course, you cannot tell me that the cabinet secretary or the ministry does not have enough money to pay their bills, to make sure at least they are somehow taken care of from this very, very unfortunate incident. It's very difficult, like under the budget policy statement that is going through the due process of budgeting now, for every ministry to put a budget for, 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 for this kind of uh, uh, incidences. And therefore, what we've done is to put a budget within the National Disaster Committee Unit in the Office of the Deputy President, and we have nominated officials from every ministry uh, to sit in that committee to follow up with this kind of incident so that we don't have piece of budget sitting in every ministry to deal with national disaster because this was a disaster. The national disaster uh, management uh, fund or whatever it is you, you spoke about that is domiciled in the office of the deputy president. Being a national office uh, it is expected that when there is a disaster they are the ones to go to the people. What I have heard you say here is that uh, the people of Embakasi are the ones to look for what you call the point of call in this particular office. Uh, is it really fair, Waziri? Because when there are floods in Northeastern, I don't see the people from Northeastern coming to the Deputy President's office to look for support. I see the government going to the people. Why is it different for the people of Nairobi? Uh, 